comes to cryptocurrency, which he thinks should be banned. Now, he answered a question that came in from a shareholder, and this was a clever question, Joe. The, the shareholder mm -hmm. said, back in, at USC many years ago, you gave a speech where you said you should never be able to kind of publish your opinion or put it out there if you can't argue the other side of that position more effectively than just about anybody out there. So the shareholder wanted to know, you've said that crypto is not something you'd ever touch. Make the other argument. Make the other side of that argument. And here's what Charlie had to say to that. I don't think there are good arguments against my position. I think the people that oppose my position are idiots. And, and, <laughs> and so I don't think there is a rational argument against my position. This is an incredible thing. Naturally, people like to run gambling casinos where other people lose. And the people who invented this crypto crapo, which is my name for it, and sometimes I call it crypto crapo, and sometimes I call it, well, crypto sh And it's just ridiculous that anybody would buy this stuff. And it isn't. You can think of hardly nothing on earth that has done more good to the human race than currency, national currencies. It's just unspeakable. It's, it's an absolute horror. And, and it ha I'm ashamed of my country that so many people believe in this kind of crap and that the government allows it to exist. It is totally, absolutely crazy, stupid gambling with enormous house odds for the people on the other side. And they cheat in addition to cheating in the betting. It's just crazy. I think what's been unveiled and what we've seen so far with FTX has him more fired up about yep. some of these issues, being offshore, being able to create tokens, um, take money from people as a result of that, and then the money disappears and the tokens are worth zero. I think that's really what got him fired up. I asked him what he thought about gambling in general, mm -hmm. uh, because there'd been so much gambling that had taken place at the, um, uh, at the uh, uh, Super Bowl over the weekend, and I thought that that would be something he'd kind of rail on, because yeah. he's, he, he's talked about gambling at all levels. He said, well, I don't mind that nearly as much as, as crypto. And this is definitely the issue that has him fired up. Well, he's, he's a smart guy, uh, obviously, and, but th there are some really smart people that um, that could give you a really good case. Yeah. I don't think he could give you a good case because he has no idea how it works. I, Not sure he's read the white paper on any of it. I don't think things. he knows. But the, the very, f I don't think the first page of, of the Bitcoin standard or whatever book you want to go to, I don't think he's read the first page. And, and I mean, that's the most um, pedestrian viewpoint that I've heard from people for, for 20 years. They all say the same thing. None of them know anything about it, but they persist. No, that's fine. He's smart. I, I think Other he's people seen are stuff before, and this reminds him of patterns. Right, exactly. Pattern. That's kind of what, what but it, his if, concerns are. You know, what did he and Warren think of, of tech? How long did they oh, no, kicking, they say, but, but they will kicking say. and screaming into the, the new world? Yeah, but they will. The say. internet, all those things. They will say they're not tech investors, that they're not. Oh, no, well, stuff. then, then. And by the way, when they bought it, then Apple, don't, oh, then don't opine business. on things you have no idea about. Uh, but I think they, they, they look at some of these deals, particularly the coins that are just made up. Okay, of well, that, you're not talking about Bitcoin in, in that regard. But there's some very smart guys that are maybe a little more tech savvy that. Yeah, I can give you a list of them, but from yeah. Rucker Miller to Peter Jones to Andreessen to Peter Thiel you to, with a lot of to things Bill Miller to, to Bill Miller to you would have agreed with a lot of to, things he said yesterday, right. including California's driving out all wealthy people with the policy. No, I know, I do. Place. But he's a crotchety old 99-year-old, and I don't expect him to understand Bitcoin. <laughs> Still to come, Southern. <laughs>